What is going on everybody? The original Manko back with our last weapon showcase for the new weapons in the Gunfire Reborn DLC. But before we get into it, be sure you check the link down below as always. If you want to see me test out some of these weapons live, do some more crazy runs, check out the Twitch link. Also consider becoming a member on YouTube today. There's four different tiers. Um, you can see on screen our members currently that we have. Uh, thank you guys so much for the extra support. It means a lot and helps out the channel way more than you know. Like I said, it comes with some fun perks and there are four different tiers that you can check out. So check out that link as well. But that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get into the last weapon showcase. And I'm telling you right now, we are not doing what we normally do for the weapon showcases. We're not going all the way through the first boss because I would maybe go actually insane. Um, this is by far and away the worst weapon they released. The other three are really good and fun. This one is not fun at all and terrible. Um, definitely in contention for, like, to compete for the second worst gun in the game spot. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and talk about it, shall we? So the Lightning Xana, it is, whoops, it is a sniper, a new sniper weapon. And shooting a teammate deploys a damage blocking shield. So for somebody who doesn't really play co-op, that means nothing. Um, but damage being blocked, or if you have a no scope crit, you get a charge. Uh, scope shots will consume those charges for enhanced shots with a higher crit multiplier. At first read, it sounds pretty cool. Like, oh, wow, that's, that's fun. You know, you no scope crit, and then you scope in, and you get an enhanced shot. <clears throat> it would be cool if it wasn't for the fact that the enhanced shot is actual uh, It does maybe six more total damage than the normal shot And I'm not I'm not exaggerating so once again, let's take a peek here. We've got 885 that's a bad example, but Yeah, cuz we lucky shot it there. So it's a little bit different, but it, it's about 700 different on the enhanced shot and the shots already don't do that much damage. I don't know if you recall, but the hexagon, which was a rifle weapon, um, the rifled version of the hexagon shots were doing, like, close to 800k. Which, once again, is what this weapon is doing. Like, this weapon is doing less uh, on occasion than a ri uh, an assault rifle. Like, what? How does that make any sense? It's just, the only thing it has going for it is that it is a lightning weapon, but other than that, it is it is horribly difficult to use, and um, I've, I've tried it out a couple times, and I, at no point did I ever enjoy my time with this weapon. So, uh, I'll show it off for like a couple of areas, but this is going to be a relatively short video and short review because I do not have that much more to say about it. Uh, if you've used it and you've enjoyed it, then please tell me about your experience because I am very curious as to how you enjoyed this weapon at all. Um, but we'll go through the second area, maybe the third. I haven't really decided yet, but it's just so tough to use. Uh, I, I mean, I like the idea of it, you know, having to get no scope crits in order to gain these charges. The problem is, like, that charge just did 1,700. On a charged sniper? Oh, that's no damage at all. On Reincarnation 8, if you get to higher levels, I mean, obviously you're going to be doing a little bit more damage, but not that much more. You're going to be in shambles. You're going to have nothing, like, no hope. None at all. So, yeah, I just... Um, once again, I'm not going to give any... Because uh, I still technically haven't really decided, but... Um, now that we've done all the weapon showcases, the tier list for the weapons will be coming out soon. This will be near the bottom. I can assure you of that. Um, I, I just don't... This, the Frenzied Shark... This is not as bad as the Frenzied Shark, but man, is it once again make a case for just one of the worst in the game I mean you get once again you guys are seeing it this is a charge shot because we're scoped in 1800 look at this this is a sniper by the way it's supposed to be super hard hitting you know high damage high skill weapons and instead it's just absolute ass cheeks and I'm gonna probably just die 
Oh good, let me get my charge shot. Uh, I'm just gonna use this because it's for some reason better than the goddamn sniper rifle that I have. You know what? To be fair though, to this weapon, the one of the weapons they added was the most broken thing they've ever added. The cloud weavers are really, really good. The arc light is really, really good. So this is, you know, probably just an afterthought to them. This was this is the fourth weapon they added. They just needed to get a fourth one out there. They already had three busted weapons that they added, so they just said, fuck it, we'll make an absolute garbage weapon. So it doesn't seem like we're we're scaling too hard with our damage here. Um all right, I'll do this third area, uh, but then this is going to be it for our weapon showcase. I do not enjoy using this weapon. I'm having zero fun. It's not... Once again, the idea of it was great, but the execution was just so horrendous. Uh, let's see what we get. Oh, nice! We actually got reload speed buff. That's pretty cool. Once again, doesn't really make a difference. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that one. That one did decent damage. Nice, nice. Uh, hello? Can you... Still not really enough. Still not really enough. Oh, a chest room. I'm not even gonna do it. It's pointless. Once again, an enemy with shields, as long as it's not robust, it, at this stage of the game, after getting a craftsman, should be an instant kill, guaranteed with a lightning weapon, a lightning sniper. It, it should be so free, but it's not. I swear the quality assurance testers are lost, confused. Like they can't have actual people doing quality assurance testing for this game because uh, the hexagon shouldn't have gotten through. This weapon shouldn't have gotten through because of how bad it is. How can you go <laughs> from adding a weapon that can do 25 million damage in a single shot to having a weapon that does a, a sniper rifle that does less than most assault rifles in the game. I, it just... The dichotomy is unbelievable. Uh, the only th Here's what I will say. The one thing that this weapon does have going for it is... The sound designers did a phenomenal job. When you're not scoped in and it's not a charged shot, that sounds really good. And then when you scope in, that also sounds really good. So they nailed the sound design, but absolutely fucked up the weapon as a whole. So, you know, you win some, you lose some, I guess. But, um, yeah, that's... I don't need to show you guys anymore, I, I don't think. It's, it's not good. Um... It doesn't really have a lot of scaling potential, I don't think. It's got a decent crit multiplier, and obviously it gets an increased crit multiplier with the special shots, but it just is not good enough to, to do much of anything. Maybe. I have not used it on the Tiger yet, so you know maybe you could get away with using it on the Tiger. Um... But... Because, you know, you have a couple of things that help when you apply shock effect. Um, and it is a 40%. 40% weapon, so if you want to use it as a um, elemental sharing Gemini, then it could be decent for that. But in terms of using it, maybe on the Tiger it's viable. Um, I don't see it being viable pretty much anywhere else. So um, there you go. A very short weapon showcase, but I, I don't need to showcase this one for very long. So um, there you have it. The Lightning Sana. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. If you like it, fair enough, but please tell me why. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. As always, we will have the tier lists coming out soon. There's plenty to do. There's characters, there's weapons, there's, um, spiritual blessings, maybe scrolls if I want to have an 18 hour video. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for the support. As always, hopefully you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, I love each and every one of your faces and I will catch you all in the next video.